morning guys welcome to the channel today i'm going to teach you how to make a time warp on your gopro hero 9 and i thought it would be quite fun if we do two different time warps we can do one walking and the next one i'm going to try to do is a time warp on the bicycle so let's start with getting the right settings we've got our gopro hero 9 over here the mode button this is how we turn the gopro on clicking it over there okay let's head into the shade and i'll show you some of these settings so currently mine is on standard, which is the video mode. I'm going to click here on the side. Photo, time lapse. This is the setting I'm looking for. Mine's already on time warp, but in case yours isn't, all we do is we click on where it says time warp. And then we've got time warp, time lapse, night lapse. Let's quickly look at the settings in the time warp over here. We just click on the pencil icon. So here are the original settings of the time warp. When our ATO resolution is fine, I'm not gonna use 4K because it's gonna make a mission to edit. The lens is wide. Personally, I prefer to have it on linear and horizon leveling. And then the only thing I'm gonna change is the color because I like throwing it in color grading or a light. So I'm gonna head over to where it says color and I'm moving it over to flat. Then I just tap the inside, click on time warp, and that's good. If you don't know how to color grade your videos, that's no problem. You can just keep your settings on the GoPro color preset settings. That will give you a nice saturated, vibrant look to your video. But if you know how to color grade, you wanna select the flat option because that allows you to color correct as well as color grade and add that look that you want for your video. I'm just going to do a time warp with you over here everything set up all i have to do is click the button on the top and my husband over here is he's just going to follow me as i do a bit of a a little walkabout with you guys all right so we're going to select the button at the top over here and we're going to start by going around this beautiful protea piece of art love it how you love me electric like you do love it how you love me electric always you Also use some of the GoPro accessories, perhaps a bite mount or a chest strap. Cool, now I've been filming for a while and as you can see I can't see anything but I'm ready to stop it. So I just select the stop option at the top over there and if I want to see my footage I'm just going to go up and here we go. Add some vibey music and this could be pretty cool. We're gonna just take another time warp and then I'm gonna show you how to do something pretty cool. I'm on time lapse again. Still got my time warp settings that we saved. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how you can take a time warp, but this GoPro allows us to pause our time warp to go back to normal speed. And then we can just activate time warp again once we've had our moment. So let's say for example, you're walking somewhere, you're filming a beautiful space, but you realize you wanna say something, maybe introduce a bit of a vlog moment or share a bit of a thought or a reflection. Then with the GoPro Hero 9, we're able to pause the action come back to normal life normal video quality and then when we're ready we can speed things up again so let's do exactly that starting us over here let's go for a walk all right so I'm gonna press the start button over here in the middle here's the start button Wow, what a beautiful morning and what an interesting sound inside of this Protea. Then I activate my time warp again by simply pressing stop. And now the time warp has started again. And to stop the time warp, we don't press start because start will make us go into a slower video mode. We stop it at the top over here. So let's stop it now. We're doing something that I've personally never seen done before. We're gonna try taking a time warp 
while cycling. Now, depending on the look and feel you're going for, you can decide how you want to position the GoPro, but I'm just gonna have a lot of fun and show you a whole bunch of different angles in this time off. If you've watched my greatest <laughs> vlog ever, you will see that I'm not the hugest fan of GoPro accessories, but I definitely think if you're cycling, an accessory or two might help you. Maybe a chest strap or a mouth strap what do they call it mouth strap mouth mouth piece yeah. mouth something <laughs> one of those things you put in your mouth <laughs> that i definitely think will help you get a more stable shot but we're out here to have fun today so let's just go ahead and play again turning it on over here the mode button oh my finger has completely frozen here we go all right yeah Settings are all good. Okay, andiamo. Let's go. Oh. I've stopped. <laughs> now, what I've realized is there's no point in doing this on a bike. <laughs> you not showing the bike so otherwise it just looks like it's a really really fast time walk so i've tried to get a whole bunch of different elements of the bike in here after reflecting on this clip i think it could look cool perhaps if you're cycling somewhere in europe and you're just quickly going to a bakery to get a fresh croissant then you could do one of those delicious time walk pauses and bring everything back to normal life show your beautiful croissants and then maybe get onto your bike and speed off again but regardless of what you want to use it for it's a lot of fun to just know how to to activate the time warp feature on the GoPro. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. I do have a couple of other videos related to GoPro content. I'll link those for you in the end screen. Otherwise, thanks so much for spending your time with me. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Take care guys, bye-bye.